What's up guys, Matt from Filmora, and I'm going to show you how to use split screens. George. George, is that my sandwich? So I've got the skit loaded up into Filmora, the one that you just watched. I'm just going to focus on showing you how to do the split screen at the end. So we're going to delete the old split screen and start new. So first you want to go to the split screen tab. And I'm going to take the one with the four equal split screens. I'm going to stretch it out so it fits the length. See you got these drop zones. Drop zone one will go there, drop zone two will go there. Drop zone three will go there, and drop zone four will go there. So I need to select my footage now. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna grab my footage and I'm gonna drop it into the drop zones. So I'm gonna take split one and drop it on drop zone one, and you can see it updates in that top left corner there. And then I'm gonna take split two and drop it in drop zone two. Split three, I'm actually gonna put it in drop zone four because I wanna keep things going clockwise in a clockwise direction. And then split four will go in drop zone three. So you go from the top left, top right, bottom right, and then finish in the bottom left. So one thing I want to show you here is you can apply a border. So you can see you can toggle it on and off here, whether you want it or not. And if you keep the border on, you can also change the color. So I'm going to keep it as black. And then another thing I want to show is you can choose to have audio on. In this case, I'm not going to use it because I have a music track playing, but you can pick which split screen you want to have audio. So if one of them has sound that you want to keep, you can only have one playing at a time. And then if you don't want any audio, you can turn it off. So just look for the one with the little speakers with the sound coming out of it and click it one more time and it will mute it for you. So in order to get the split screen to work, you'll notice right now in the first clip, George runs out of the frame, but then you don't see him for a bit in the top right corner. So I'm gonna get the timing right so George comes into the frame right away. And there's these little sliders under the drop zone clips. And I, that will tell me when the clip should start. So as you can see, I've got that first one. So George comes in right away. And now as he exit that first top left frame, I want him to start coming into the top right drop zone two frame right away. So I just need to slide this around. This takes a little time. You gotta play around with it to get the look right. But when you get it right, it's a lot of fun. So now I have it lined up. He exits one frame and then enters the other. So it just nicely flows. So now I have to do that from drop zone two to drop zone four, from the top right to the bottom right. So as I exit the frame in drop zone two in the top right, I want George coming into the shot in drop zone four in the bottom right. So again, I need to slide that around. So now that I have the time there, and then I just need the last one, the bottom left, going from the bottom right to the bottom left. So I choose the frame where George is leaving and then I can start sliding on drop zone 3 to find the correct start position. And as George leaves, he enters the last and final frame. That's how we achieve this little split screen sequence. So there's two more things I want to show you. Here's an example where you can create a little intro for your videos. So I have these fashion beauty clips here and I'm gonna drop them in drop zone one, two, and three. And one cool thing is you can actually reposition things. So as you can see, if I highlight which clip I wanna move around, I can actually slide it left and right so that you can see the people's faces a lot better. And also, if there's a clip you don't like, all you have to do is right click on the drop zone and select delete, and then you can choose another clip to drop in. I'm gonna use a title from one of the fashion packs. I'm just gonna rename it Filmora Fashion. And there you go, a fun little way to create intros for your videos. So there's one last thing I want to show you, and it doesn't exactly use the split screen tool in Filmora, but it acts like a split screen. So what it is, is it's one way to produce a little interview piece. 
So I'm gonna drop, I've got these two little webcam type shots where, a, where an interview is taking place. And I'm gonna drop these clips on the picture in picture track. And then when I select them in the timeline, I get the little yellow bounding box so I can resize them. So I'm gonna resize them down to where I like. And then I'm gonna reposition them where I want them. So I have them in the middle here. And now I can add some text elements. So I might have a little title that I wanna add in at the top. And there you go, you have a piece of content where you're conducting an interview and you can share that with your customers or your audience. Thanks for watching guys. Now I wanna challenge you. Show me your best split screen sequence. Share it on Facebook or Twitter or any other social media site where you can reach us. I wanna see them, George wants to see them. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you have any other suggestions for other tutorial videos or any other comments, leave them down below. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.